David Leite is an Estonian-born fitness model and social media star. He is better known for his YouTube transformation from a skinny guy to a strong man. David Leite's social networks have gained over a million followers who are interested in his fitness programs. When he was only two years old, his mother moved to the United States with her three sons to start a new life after losing her husband in an accident. He and his family had a hard time adjusting to their new home in New Jersey. David was often bullied and ridiculed by his new classmates due to his small height. Late was diagnosed with scoliosis at age of 14. After that, he began weight training with a physical therapist. Nevertheless, they continued to joke about him. That's how he discovered transformation videos that inspired him to start his own transformation. The young bodybuilder began building muscle mass which inspired him to post about his achievements on social media. At first, the progress was fast and it was easy to follow because he was very thin. You know, our world is very full of athletes. They achieve your success at different ages and different amount of time. And each one excels in their own way. David Leite started to upload his video to YouTube at the age of 14 and gained his popularity through a fast but hard transformation. Now David Leite is 24 years old. He feels comfortable in his head of 188 cm which complements the massive mass of his body. Weight for such growth seems incredibly low, running from 84 to 92 kg. This can be explained by the fact that late although toe is a narrow, compact guy. His unpumped muscles are flat. And when the body gets a lot and from good angles in a good light, he looks much more massive than he looks. Yes, here we can say about taking a good uh, competently in a cocktail of anabolic steroids and drugs that stimulate blood flow. You can see the visual and laboratory signs of an athlete on steroids. However, he denies the use of steroids and claims that his changes are the result of hard work. But in two or three years, he gained huge strange indicators and reached 210 kg in the squat, 306 in the deadlift and uh, 177 kg in the bench press. And for an ectomorph with seen bones in such a short time and even at school age, as I think it was not without steroids. But again, this is my subjective opinion. There are still school children who believe that David didn't use steroids. But on steroids or not, he has achieved impressive results that most we were not able to achieve, even if they take large doses of pharma. As expected, such rapid continuous progress had to stop at some point. The guy began to experience incredible back pain. Later, David published a video about the reasons for the loss of his shape. He's there showing an MRI, hernias of all parts of the spine, what doses, and the disappearance of the natural curves of the spine, and as well protrusions. Doctors forbade late from any physical activity to include in strange exercise. He was advised to lift no more than 10 kilograms. In fact, at the age of 21, he became almost invalid, since even fast walking caused back pain. Now he continues to post photos from the gym on his social networks. It's almost impossible to see late with a barbell in his hand. He mostly lifts dumbbells, does yoga and avoids big weights. Now let's move on to analyzing mistakes of techniques in basic movements. Firstly, it must be said right away at a young age such a rapid progress in strength with steroids is more dangerous because joints and ligaments don't have time to lift more and more with the rapid growth of the muscle tissue. This is one of the factors, but still not the main one. In many photos in front along the line of the abs, you can see how serious the curvature of the spine was in late years. And this is the second factor. You must understand that even with the right techniques, but with certain problems or restrictions on the back, you can't do basic exercises with huge weights without harm. Looking at his deadlift technique, it's clear that the guy has big problems with both balance and angles and back control. And also separation of heels and socks from the floor. I personally would be ashamed to do with such hump and post all the events on the social networks. 
Even from the front, you can see how huge hump is along the entire length of the spine at the time of the exercise. As a result, injuries accumulate due to the such sharp jerks and amplitude overextensions. The most traumatic period of any athlete is this energetic young age, when the body is still growing. It's ready to digest any mistakes under your pressure and striving for the goal, with a lack of knowledge and understanding. In addition, at the top of the movement, under the pressure of useful energy and the desire to dominate, he's greatly overextend his back like a lot of young people. Imagine what a strong unnatural pressure in the lower back. By the way, this is one of the key moments of back injury, and in my opinion, it's even more fatal than the hump back crawl. But deadlift isn't the only move where David made mistakes. In the bench press, late mistakes lies not only in excessive bending with a clearly absent flexibility, but also at the moment of the most acute point of the movement, the guy tore his pelvis of the bench, which further added a kink and a natural dangerous load on the invertebral discs, which when accumulated leads to protrusion, harness, and everything else that he received an MRI including atherosis of the joints. Could he have avoided? Of course, yes. Could he have the same strange result with the right techniques but without injuries? Yes, of course. It probably wouldn't have taken much longer. In any case, Lee deserve respect for not spreading his steroid cyclists and for the fact that millions of fans from all over the world saw the path to their disability. I hope they made right conclusions. Because when your favorite athlete has been progressing for many years and then eventually you saw how the wrong things lead to injuries, all these can reasons with a lot of Iron Sports fans and moderate uh, their young maximalism and energy. You know, a lot of guys definitely wanna have such shape. He's one of the few who can and should be equal in shape, since he does not have a crazy mess and a bulging belly. Guys, I hope you liked this video, subscribe to my channel and see you next video!